Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is D-Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today was the first practice with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think I'll just title this video, I guess, Practice 15. I don't know if this is, maybe I, I title it First Practice with the Bucks. I don't know. But let's go ahead and get into it. Um, uh, one guy you're going to see a lot of is Marcus Johnson, we're, we're at least n at least in notes, maybe not as much in clips, but uh, the clips we do have, I think, do show Marcus a couple times. But um, again, Jim Wyatt, Toronto Davenport's Twitter, that's what we look over. Their uh, links will be down below. So let's uh, continue on. Vrabel and Bruce Arians chat before morning uh, the, uh, morning's joint practice. Henry headed out for today's. Let's go ahead and mute that. Practice with the Bucks. Um, uh, we'll get into who wasn't there today as well. Uh, and it's actually right here. Not practice for the Titans in Tampa. Julio Jones, AJ Brown, Nate Davis, Ben Jones, Darrington Evans, Dan Crookshank, Tucker McCann, Nico Autry, Matthias Farley, and Jeff Swain. Um, so that's that. Uh, Tennessee Titans and Bucks huddle before uh, joint practice gets underway this morning in Tampa Bay. Um, I'm honestly super excited. Uh, well, obviously, practice is already over, but I'm excited about... I was coming, building up to this, I was super excited uh, about practice with the Buccaneers. Obviously, they're the Super Bowl champions, and you'll see Brady touch on the Titans' defense and what he thinks about them. Um, and, you know, the greatest of all time talking about your defense. And, spoiler alert, he said that they are the Tennessee Titans they're good um so again coming from the greatest of all time that's what you want to see especially from a defense what we had last year um to defense that we have this year i i feel like everything's going to be different not everything's gonna be different but it's gonna be a lot different um a lot of different faces and a lot of different names um system's gonna be a little different too i think um not necessarily too different but just a little bit and obviously, I think with the new guys we got out there, we're going to be able to perform pretty well. Um, there's Josh Reynolds working against... Uh, I couldn't tell you who that is for the Bucks. I'm going to struggle with these Bucks names, guys. I'm going to be honest. But there's Josh Reynolds catching uh, one-on-one. Um, NWI, good run running here. Titans play good today. I I'm not going to sit here and lie. I've, saw, I've seen a lot of notes about the Tennessee Titans playing well. This is a uh-oh, uh, what we don't want to see happening. Monty Rice helped off the field. With an injury, uh, and then a little bit later, he was carded inside. Uh, Titans Bucks practice just wrapped up. We'll have four ops. Da, 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 da. We'll get into that. Uh, Mike Vrabel and Tom Brady, ex teammates in New England. Um, I'm sure these guys are still very close, um, just because of. I mean the, the 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 games they played together. I mean Vrabel, who's the linebacker, caught a pass from Tom Brady for a touchdown in the Super Bowl. So these guys. Uh, definitely know each other very well, um, and it's one of the reasons why we are able to get to Tampa. Uh, Kevin Byard here again. None of these will be a volume, no, no volume on these. So if you want to go check these out, uh, link will be down below. Tannehill on the Titans' offense versus the Bucks. He did mention. Um, I don't know if it was, it was that clip right there, but he did mention. Uh, he bragged about Mark uh, Marcus Johnson a lot today. So um, you like I said, you'll hear his name a lot. Um, and here is good old Ryan Suckup, who I miss dearly, and I, spe I bet most of you Titans fans miss him too. Uh, a guy that could have stayed with us, you know, uh, just a kicker that, that that could still be kicking with us. You know, we, what was it, 2016, 17, uh, I think is when he, you know, you know, first year with the Titans, and then uh, we released him. Uh, 2019, beginning of 2019, I think. Um, I'd love to still have him, but, you know, it is what it is. And now we're in a kicking carousel where we have to worry about the kicker nonstop. But it'd just be nice to have that kicking spot, you know, just we know we, we've got a guy that can kick for us. Uh, but instead, we, we had, we've had about eight, nine kickers in the past three years. Um, but here's John Robinson with Tom Brady. Um, after practice today... See some fans there. Uh, and then there's a Gator. Da, 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 da. Um, we'll get into some notes later. I'm not going to read into that. Uh, but I wouldn't necessarily say there's winners and losers 
but I would definitely say that we wanted say we wanted to see who was going to come out here and compete. Um, let's continue. Tannehill on Buccaneers quarterback Tom Brady. I think we know who Tom Brady is there. Um, and we have Fred Brown here looking pretty nice as well. Tell you guys, the Titans play good today. Um, there's observations if you want to look into that. Update on the Gator. Um, that's pretty funny there. Uh, also, picture Tom Brady. That is pretty funny. But let's move on to Teron Davenport and see what he has for us again. Marcus Johnson. Like I said, you want to mention him a little bit. He had a fantastic day throughout camp. He's been phenomenal. Uh, but Marcus Johnson has been one of the most consistent players in camp. Johnson has also earned the trust of quarterback Ryan Tannehill. He's healthy and uh, armed with a new number to honor his dad. Number 88 there for Marcus Johnson. Um, and let's see here. Bud Dupree there. Um, there he is. Again, update. No A.J. Brown, Danico Autry, Nate Davis, Ben Jones, Jensen Evans, Dane Crookshank, Jeff Swim. I believe we already mentioned that. I think Julio wasn't in there, but... Um, Julio hadn't played in a while, so I mean, that is what it is. Uh, there's a little bit of goat to goat action there. I wouldn't say, I, I don't know. Gronk's really good. I don't think he's good at tight end, but goat to a uh, really good tight end uh, there. Tom Brady to Gronk. Uh, Jack Rabbit ain't having it. He and AB dapped up each other afterward. Uh, this is kind of interesting. I heard a, Jack Rabbit had a pretty solid day as well. Um, and I also have a pretty good stat if it's not listed in here. Um, I, love I like to see that, Jack Rabbit. That's what I'm talking about. Caleb Farley here for the Titans. Okay. There's that. Caleb Farley versus Mike Evans. Hey. Mike Evans is a pretty damn good receiver. We got a rookie out there making plays. That's, uh, Caleb Farley... Gosh, I, I just can't wait for the regular season, man. I cannot wait for the regular season whenever Caleb Farley's first game is. Um, uh, who's this talking about here? This is an excellent point, something I've been say, uh, seeing as well. Guarding receivers on the inside releases. I'm assuming he's talking about Caleb Farley. Uh, I'm not sure there, um, but let's move on. No one was mentioned there, but Monty Rice, like I said before, um, went down after defending a pass across the middle. Rice got up. He was helped off the field. Then later, uh, he was carted off with the trainers. Uh, they took him inside. Um, I don't think it's mentioned in here, but I want to make sure I have this correct. Uh, we'll get into these notes after I mention this really quickly. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, here we go. Kayla Farley, Jack Rabbit, Amani Hooker, and Elijah Molden all had an interception versus Brady in the first joint practice. That's something really exciting there. You got four defensive backs getting an interception on a game's greatest player. Um, that's, that's awesome. Let's get into these notes here. No A.J. Brown. We already went over that. One-on-one -on -one started with Mike Evans catching a slam versus Christian Fulton. Then Jack Robert Jenkins had good coverage against Julio. Uh, not Julio. Antonio Brown. The Bucks wide receivers went on a streak that was stopped after about 10 completions with Elijah Moulton undercut uh, a route to pick it off. Caleb Farley got beat deep with... Uh, got beat by Chris Godwin, but redeemed himself a few plays later when he broke up a deep pass to Mike Evans. Brady mostly checked down early in 7-on-7. Seven seven. He took a deep shot to Jalen Darden uh, with Fulton on coverage. Pass fell incomplete, but Fulton was flagged. Okay. Um, Fulton had good coverage on Evans on a corner route to force an incompletion. Next play, Amani Hooker almost picked off Brady, uh, picked off a Brady pass to Antonio Brown on the middle of the field. Brady connected with Gronk on the next two. Caleb Farley had a uh, PBU on a deep pass from Kyle Trask. Darden, he got great position. Uh, jumped. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. And knocked it away. Landed on his back, but got up fine. Next notes here. Um, Chester Rogers, Nick Westbrook, Akine. 
uh, shined in one-on-ones. Chester Rogers, Cam Batson, Mason Kinsey, and Josh Reynolds all rotating on punt returns. Marcus Johnson, NWI, and Elijah Molden each made nice plays uh, to down punts inside the five-yard line. Okay, that's pretty solid. After consecutive check down completions by Brady, Imani Hooker made a diving interception. Brady came out and Blaine, uh, Blaine Gabbert replaced him. Uh, Jeffrey Simmons versus Ryan Jensen. It's a fun, I, I bet that's a fun matchup right there. Uh, it's a fun matchup to watch. Simmons got a couple of good rushes. One of them was a bull rush versus a double team to force a rush throw. I'm telling you guys, even double teams can't stop this man, Jeffrey Simmons. He's seen double teams all of last year because he was the only defensive player that we had uh, that could get to the, the uh, passer. Um, so we've seen double teams. He knows what it's like to have a double team on him. Uh, and sometimes he was triple team last year just because we had no one else. No one else could get home last year. This year, he should have a even a better year than what he had last year because he's going to get more opportunities to get one-on-ones and stuff like that. And then if he, hey, if he gets double, then you're leaving one-on-one -on, -one on the outside with either Harold Landry, who we know can get to the quarterback, and Bud Dupree now. Um, uh, and that rookie number 99, who is really, uh, really good. He's shining in the, in the Friday uh, game against... Atlanta, let's move on here. Blaine Gabbert, two, uh, Blaine Gabbert and Antonio Brown connected on a series of passes. Best one was corner route with a touchdown during 7-on-7. Seven seven. Jayon Brown broke up a couple of passes from Brady to Gronk during 7-on-7. Seven seven. That carried over the team, period. Jack Rabbit got an interception on a pass that was tipped by Gronk. Chester Rogers stepped up during team period, made a series of catches on outbreaking routes. Rogers also made a catching traffic on seven on seven so that's gonna do it for the notes let's see if there's anything else here we got Vrabel and Tom talking after practice we got Kevin Byard um competing against Tom Brady that's really what you want out of a defense that needs to improve you got to get a guy uh, a guy like Tom Brady is going to um definitely improve the defense or help the defense out. That's what the defense needs. They need to see guys like Tom Brady, the greatest of all time, um, and definitely can improve them. So that's I love the matchup against Tom Brady and the defending Super Bowl champions. Mike Vrabel on the Bucks tempo on offense, and I'll help that. That's, again, links will be down below if you guys want to watch any of this. Was pleased by NWI, Chester Rogers, and Marcus Johnson. Um, so that's, I'm telling you guys, Marcus Johnson has probably been He's definitely got a case for MVP of the uh, of, of the of training camp. Uh, him, you get to got a couple others in there too. But Marcus Johnson, we heard his name a ton when we were doing doing these videos. So um, Simmons and Jansen is where the brawl will start. I, that that matchup right there, that's got to be exciting to watch and sit back and just see those two guys just clash every play. Um, Tom Brady says. He has a lot of respect, uh, respect for Ryan Tannehill. Joked that they faced each other, and Tannehill has beat him a lot of times. Brady also said he wasn't speaking about Tannehill when he made that team wanted. Oh, okay, we get that. That was a lot of talk there. Um, uh, basically, I think it was like a little, uh, I'm not sure what it was, a little TV series or something, uh, when Tom Brady was going to the Buccaneers. Um or when he was a free agent, I should say, and he was deciding on where to go. Um, and there's a little part in the little, um, I guess it was uh, like a preview of whatever the, the, the show was. But um, he basically said, in quotation marks, that team wanted that MF or over me. Um, and no one knew who it was. And a lot of speculation started. Uh, and basically... Uh, to clear up things, he did say that it wasn't about he wasn't talking about Tannehill. A lot of people, you know, may say he was talking about. I'm not gonna say any names, but you get it. Maybe uh, I don't want to say any names, but there's a lot of speculation out there. A lot of different teams were mentioned, or, or especially quarterbacks were mentioned um, about. You know, Brady was talking about this guy. He was talking about that guy, and you know, it got a lot of you know talk around. Um, it does clear up things, and, you know, Tom Brady almost came to the Titans. Again, we had Tannehill, um, but we saw a lot of, I remember seeing an image of, I don't know where it was at, but I remember seeing, like, Vrabel and John Robinson with Tom Brady that offseason somewhere, um, and they were kind of talking, but, 
you know, he was he was with a lot of people that offseason trying to figure out where he wanted to go and ultimately made the right decision. Now he's uh, he won another Super Bowl, so definitely made the, the right decision there. But here's Elijah Molden one-on-one. Um, INT there. So there, there's that play. That looks pretty good. I, Elijah Molden, that looked really good. That, I like that a lot. That, that looked really good. Uh, nothing there. Brady Vrabel talking after joint practices. And I think that's it. There. Yeah, that's going to do it. So, yeah, with that being said, that is going to do it. Do I have any more notes here that I want to mention? I think I covered everything. I normally just go over TD's, um, you know, little note section there. Maybe a little notes I want to add on. Uh, what's that note where I had, who was it? Caleb Farley, Christian Fulton, Elijah Mould, Damani Hooker. Is that right? Those four guys all had an interception today. So that's awesome, especially against Tom Brady. But, yeah, that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Until next time, I'll see y'all.